we'll move on to the gridiron and talk about our New York Jets. I mean, no, what? <laughs> our New York Giants. Woo, wow. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to talk about probably my favorite player in Odell Beckham Jr. Odell Beckham Jr. landed number eight on the NFL top 100 players. And some people are already giving him an icon status. Mike, I ask you, is Odell Beckham Jr. an icon? Not yet. Uh, certainly he has a long way to go. He's got the talent to be a Hall of Fame wide receiver. There's no doubt about, no doubt about that. He's got the game-changing ability. He's not on Julio Jones and Antonio Brown level just yet, but he'll probably get there because he's younger than those guys, and he hasn't had the, as many opportunities to perform in the playoffs. But, you know, with, with the NFL, really for me, the guys that are icons are the quarterbacks. Those are the guys that are on the, on, you know, that have to lead their team and everything. But there's no question that Odell Beckham Jr., uh, despite all the controversy, which is mild controversy, it's not like this guy's out there, you know, getting, you know, getting into fights, doing anything illegal or anything like that. All the controversy that surrounds him, it's all small stuff. It's like, oh, you shouldn't have gone to Miami to go party. Or, it's not like it's major things. Um, but he has certainly no question about it. Uh, the the opportunity in front of him to be one of the most uh, famous athletes in the world and a lot of that has to do with the fact that he plays in New York a lot of it has to do with the fact that he plays in this major market and a lot of it has to do with the personality that he, ha that he has and people always point to the hair it's not just the hair it's it's the fact that he is one of the few players in the NFL where at any given moment in the game he just has that breakaway speed where he can just pull away and just have a game game changing touchdown like that so I think he absolutely has an opportunity but to, to, to make a name for himself and be one of the greatest to ever play at his position. But icon status, he has a long way to go until he gets to that point. I think at this point he's had iconic moments. I think we all remember the catch. And I think that catch against Dallas Cowboys will always be in the running for one of the best catches ever. So, And then there's other times where the, he may have had iconic moments. But like you said, he has a, a long way to go. And hopefully he will be injury-free to allow him to have a long career to really um, cement the his status as being an icon. I mean, he's got out-of-this-world talent. And I... I just can't, and I think we've still are scratching the surface. I think there's still more to come, and it's just going to get better and better. At least I hope it gets right. better and better every year. And he's definitely, while not an icon, he's definitely. I think he's one of the faces of the NFL, and I think that he has transcended football. And I think you know he's become a worldwide phenomenon. There was. Uh, he, he's very active on social media, so which I think that also helps. He's great at marketing himself. He went over to Germany and he had a picture. He had his phone and he was on top of a car and it was this massive people. And we don't, as far as I know, we don't have a, the NFL doesn't have a big football presence in Germany, but they loved him. They knew him. They were shouting his name. And so everywhere he goes, he has this magnetic personality. It's the hair, it's the smile, it's the outfits, it's just who he is. And that's bigger than NFL. So I think even if he doesn't become an NFL icon, I think he'll be one of the biggest personalities that the game has seen in a long time, if ever. No doubt about it.